Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Michael Chang, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. The program as a whole has been, you know, unlike anything that I've ever experienced before. Um, it's definitely something that I feel most dancers should be able to experience. Um, you've learned so much about yourself, you learn so much about the industry, and you actually get opportunities to grow in areas that y you wouldn't believe you could or you had the potential to. I just feel that with the program itself, you get to meet so many new people, you get to network, you get to, you know, you get to learn so much more than just dance. And, and I feel that is an asset in itself for all dancers going forward as in, in their careers with this sort of industry. Um, I learned a heck lot about myself, actually, <laughs> um, because we, we, we have our moments where, you know, we, we try to break down everybody and, and everybody has to sort of, you know, spill out things that they normally wouldn't want to spill out. And I feel, feel that going through that process, you, you actually start to unpeel some of those layers about yourself that, you know, the insecurities and everything that you would normally have and, and you know, all those walls that are usually up. And you actually learn, you know, a deeper meaning towards yourself and you actually learn a, a, a more of a progression towards dance and you figure out your feelings towards dance. And, and that's something that you usually won't think about or you usually won't try and, you know, pursue on your own on a daily basis. And I feel that's one of the greatest things with this program. It actually helps you grow in that manner. Definitely one thing that I can take away from this, this program is a particular kind of work ethic. And, and it's definitely something that's stressed throughout the program. And Rhapsody will yell at us, you know, get, th she's really witty. So she'll throw a lot of puns and do everything just to yell at us and make jokes about us. But in the end, she really wants us to work hard. And, you know, especially with this industry, things change really quickly but you really need to be on, on top of your game. And I feel that's one thing going forward in the dance industry and anything in, in, with respect to this career, that sort of work ethic and dedication is something that you really need to apply. My animal is a chameleon. Um, I don't look like one and you know, physically I'm not you know, built like a chameleon, but it, it's definitely something that I feel I embody, um, not just you know, in the way that I dance, but also you know, in mentality as well. And I feel that uh, at first glance, not a lot of people will know why I am a chameleon. But, you know, when you get to know me better and you get to f see all my different layers, see all the different aspects about me, then you actually see that, oh, yeah, yeah hey, he is a chameleon. Um, I think most of the highlights, I mean, the show is going to be a beast in itself. So the show is, is, is amazing. I feel most of the highlights from this entire experience has been the stuff outside of the show, you know, um, meeting all these great people. You know, me meeting new people, having a new family outside of home from Toronto, where I'm, where I'm from. And, and definitely all the jokes and all the inside jokes that you build and all the friendships. That's definitely something that I will definitely go away with. And any meep will tell you that these are the type of things that actually strengthen the bond and stuff that you can't forget. Um, after this program, I'm not really sure. I've been away from home for about, you know, three and a half months now. And when I get back home, I really don't know where I'm going to go next. But I definitely have a plan towards uh, pursuing this as a career and furthering myself within this sort of industry. Um, I definitely have things that I have to sort of improve upon. So definitely when I go back, those are some of the short-term goals that I have. Long-term wise, I definitely would love to be back in New, you know, New York City or in the States to be able to work. And you know, going forward, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Artists in particular, I, I feel like just because of swag and everything, I would love to work with Chris Brown. Um, choreographers, you know, there, there are people that I feel that my style is adjusted to. You know, people like Luther Brown, just because he's from Toronto. I've worked with him before, but, you know, I would like to work with him on a, a you know, a, a grander scale. But, I mean, there's still so much with this industry that I have yet to experience. And I feel like I still need to go out there and find out, you know, the, the type of choreographers, the type of people that I, I feel like I can apply myself to. I definitely want to shout out Rhapsody for, for sure, just because, you know, Mama Rap is, has been giving us this opportunity and it's definitely something that, you know, I am grateful for. And I definitely want to shout out all the Meeps, not just my own cast, but I mean, uh, Meep alumni, just because now we understand what you guys went through. We understand all the pains, all the sweat and struggle. And I definitely want to say that, you know, we feel it. And going forward, we're one big happy family. And I'm, I'm eager to look, I'm eager to, to see the next cast that's going to be coming up.